Joe, I don't know about you, but I'm really excited about seeing Alabama. I am too. Today. I've been waiting for this one all week long. Campanova to Ogilvy at the five yard line. Ogilvy gets out to the 23 yard line where he's stopped by number 19, Conrad McCrary for the Ole Miss Rebels. It's third and three from the 29. Jacobs. And Michael Harmon at the flanker position. Tyler is split, meanwhile, to the near side. 4K back, looking long. Finds Tyler across the midfield strike. And Tyler gets to the 45-yard line inside the 45, down to about the 43. Harmon split to the near side. Tyler split to the far side. 4K to quarterback, operating with McGee and Andre Thomas in the backfield. McGee on the pitch out is hit behind the line. Jeremiah Castile on the stop. Coach Bryant has never had a Heisman Trophy winner. He had John David Crow at Texas A&M, but he hasn't had one in Alabama. That is highly unusual considering the number of national championships and conference championships that Alabama has won. Jackson. Big game for Alabama, the big play up the middle that we may see a lot of this afternoon because Alabama is known for that. Okay, this is Don Jacobs, the quarterback. The pitch out to Ogilvy to the right side. It's Ogilvy to the 30, down to the 20. That's Brad White in between Ogilvy and Peter, but no go. Touchdown, Alabama. Forcade. In trouble. Passes intercepted there by number 19, Jeremiah Castillo for Alabama. So that's a big turnover and a big break for the Crimson Tide. That's 4K's fifth interception of the year. Four of them came in the first game against Texas A&M. This is Jacobs throwing down field. Touchdown, Alabama. Number 87, Mark Kraut, the tight end. Okay, again, here's what we're talking about. Forcade on a draw play comes back up to the 20-yard line and gets no further. Number 90, Thomas Boyd, the linebacker, coming up from his spot. 6'3", 212 pounds. Seven minutes and seven seconds to go in the first quarter of play as Daryl Graham, number 13, prepares to punt for Ole Miss. And he hit it on the side of his foot. Ogilvy returns to the 43-yard line. Bart Kraut, tight end, splits out to the near side this time. This is Jackson up the middle. Workhorse running back gets inside the 35-yard line down to the 32 where he is stopped by Wally Knox. This is first and 10 from the 29, 5.42 to go first quarter. This is Jacobs coming to the near side, pitching to number 24, Joe Jones. Touchdown, Alabama. Billy Wise split from his tight end position. Breck Tyler split to the near side. The pass is intended for Toller on the far side, but incomplete at the 40-yard line. Flags are down, along with Tyler sent Ken Toller to the far side. Certainly speaks highly of Alabama's defense because Steve Sloan has seen a lot of good football teams. Third and 23, 14-yard line, 4K back, looking way downfield. Got Tyler at the 35. Tyler has enough yardage for the first down. Three minutes and 19 seconds to go, first quarter. Forcade back with a long time to throw, scrambles out of the pocket. Intended for number 85, Gino English. Alabama's second team offense running in now. Quarterback, number 14, Alan Gray. The pitch goes to number 25, Lenny Patrick, the left halfback. Big yardage all the way down to the 31-yard line of the Ole Miss Rebels. Gray at quarterback. A 
on the keeper down to about the 25-yard line. Peter Kim in to attempt a field goal. Off to the left. We've got about 22 seconds to go in the first quarter of play, George. It's 4K operating with McGee Hooper in the backfield. Most pattern for Breck Tyler at the 39-yard line, and he's got it. Right now, it's second and eight, 41-yard line. Ole Miss in possession of the football, down by 21 with 14.56 to go in the second quarter. Andre Thomas, number 12, Chester Thornton, number 31, operating in the backfield for Ole Miss. Geno English split to the far side. This is Herman coming across the middle. Four has got him at the 40. Bear Bryant is wearing just a plain white cap today. May be a bad omen for people to keep up with things like that. This is 4K. Finds Harmon at the 26-yard line. Second and 10, 26-yard line. 4K back, looking deep. Breck Tyler at the 10. He's got it. Touchdown, Ole Miss Rebels. We've seen a couple of variations. Jacobs giving in the middle to number 33, Billy Jackson, the fullback, who gets across the 35-yard, oh, pardon me, the 25-yard line. 11.44 to go, second quarter. Alabama leads Ole Miss. Crimson Tide has it second and 10 at their 31. Jackson getting loose to the outside on the right. Personal foul. We saw the signal there from the official, a face mask penalty against the Ole Miss Rebels. Jacobs, a quarterback on the wishbone. This is Jackson again. This time inside the 25 yard line. Billy Jackson at fullback, Major Ogilvy, along with Lenny Patrick in the backfield for Alabama. This is number 85 for the Alabama Crimson Tide, scoring the touchdown. I'm sure they would like to get more depth on their kickoff, but it's a pretty good strategy. Tennessee does that just, well, every time they kick off, that's their normal procedure. This is McGee getting loose out to the 33-yard line. 9.46 to go, first half. Second and two from the 33. Gino English getting up to the 40-yard line. So they very seldom offensively or defensively show the same thing McGee, twice. McGee did a good job blocking for 4K on that particular play. 4K looking down downfield again this time. The pass is complete to Breck Tyler at the 47-yard line. I don't know, I'd call him sir, probably. John Forcade back, looking way downfield. Pass is complete at the 35-yard line. Kenny, or pardon me, Ken Toller. Ole Miss has done real well on this particular series. Forcade is sacked as he hits Toller at the 10-yard line. Toller all alone, touchdown Ole Miss Rebels. This rain here may be an, an advantage for the Rebels because of Alabama's execution on offense. They've been mainly going to the fullback, but they pitched the ball an awful lot, too, and it's going to be tough to pitch it. Jacobs on the handoff to Charlie Williams, number 38, gets across the 35-yard line out to about the 37. You know, if this rain keeps up, George, we might not see a halftime show here. The officials may keep the band off the field. 4K just, I thought he was sacked, but he got away. And then is finally cut down in the backfield by number 90, Thomas Boyd, coming from the linebacker position. Well, the sun is actually beginning to peek through here as the lightning begins to pop outside Mississippi Memorial Stadium. Woody Humphrey hangs it up high. Michael Harmon takes it at the 10-yard line. There's a pause in the action, and we'll be right back after this brief timeout. We 
we get back to action with Buford McGee fighting his way out to the 20-yard line. And, uh, secondly, you know, people are popping for 10. They'll bail out real early. I think a little bit more is going to have to happen like a nuclear holocaust here. 4K back throwing long. It's a bomb into a crowd. Missed everybody. Let's see. Gino English was down there. Michael Harmon was down there. Buford McGee was down there. But uh, crowd, and really it's good that everything everything overshot because there really was no place to go. That ends the first half of play. It was 100 degrees on the playing surface in 93 in Jackson when we started this afternoon. Temperatures are down now probably in the low 80s, possibly the high 70s. The breeze has picked up. Alabama has picked up. They've got the football at the at this point and will kick it off to the Ole Miss Rebels. Number 80, Tim Clark, hangs it way up. Goes to Kenny Hooper at the goal line, who fumbles it. He's got to pick it up and go with it because he's outside the goal line, and that is a live ball. Hooper's return coming to the seven-yard line. 4K. Long pass downfield, intended for Tyler, but it's intercepted. Ricky Turner, defensive back. Turner following his blockers well and gets back inside the 10-yard line down to about the seven. George, bad break for Ole Miss and not really the way you want to start the second half. And uh, he made the interception and Alabama's in good position right here. This is Jacobs on the handoff. Touchdown, Alabama. Billy Jackson, eight yards out. Thrown a little low but awfully fast, and that may have saved an interception right there. John's throwing arm. Forcade back under pressure. He's sacked. Piece of jersey flies at Warren Wilds. Gets away a pretty good one. Hits Ogilvy at the 45-yard line, and Ogilvy is stopped at about the 35. Well, the sun has gone behind the clouds now. Looks as though we might get some more rain before this football game is over with. Jacobs, little pass over the middle to number 87, Bart Kraut at the 20-yard line. Kraut run out of bounds. This is Jacobs, faked at the first back through, and Tony Dalton, James Otis, 74 and 84 respectively, crashing through to make the stop in the backfield. This is Kim. Kind of hooked that one in just a little bit. There's time out on the field with the score, Alabama 38, Ole Miss 14. It's 4K back, long time to throw, fakes once, then decides to run it, gets back shy of the 15-yard line. Down, rolling around in a little bit of pain again. Well, actually, they're beginning to drive down. It's coming pretty hard. And they just executed a normal option play. Coley came, pitched the ball. Good defensive play by Brad White, though. This is great. Incomplete at the five-yard line. This is fourth and six, 28-yard line. Alabama trying for the field goal. It's number three, Peter Kim. The second time today, it's off to the left. So with time out on the field, the score, Alabama 38, Ole Miss 14. It's 4 on the keeper. 40, 45, near the midfield strike, down at the 47. And Forcade looking for him, but got in trouble, had to spin out of the pocket. The pass was intended for 16, Billy Wise, and it's intercepted. Jim Bob Harris comes out of the defensive backfield. Six minutes and 35 seconds to go, third quarter. The pitch out is going for Lenny Patrick. A fumble, let's see who's got it. They can't control things, and they would like to see things done the way you know they have them drawn up in their minds, and it doesn't turn out that way all the time. This is 4K rolling to the left. Long time to throw. 
Andre Thomas has to stand there and wait on him, but he's got running room. 40, 35, 30, follows his blockers down to the 20, inside the 20-yard line. First down for Ole Miss. John Forquet, quarterback. Andre Thomas, 12, Buford McGee, 10. In the backfield for the Rebels. Forquet back, throwing on first down for the third consecutive time. He's got Herman at the 10, pass is complete. McGee is split to the far side. This is 4K. He's got some running room. Pass attempted for Michael Harmon in the end zone. He tried to get that one away off balance. Fourth down, four to go. It's spotted at the four. This is 4K. Touchdown, Ole Miss Rebels. Kenny Hooker. Pardon me, Ken Tola on the reception. Gray on the pitch out. We've got Lenny Patrick on the right side. Patrick's got some running room, gets away from one defender and down to about the 41 yard line before he is stopped and that's where it'll be marked. Gray coming to this side. Down to the 30, 20. Good saving tackle there by number 35, Bobo Thomas. This is Gray, quarterback. Touchdown, Alabama. Uh, in, this, in this type of situation, you're playing against your mentor, one of the leading, probably the leading coach uh, in the nation. I wonder what he thinks about. Let's get to that in a second as Buford McGee gets across the 30, across the 40, had a little bit of running room and is finally brought down by Gerald Sprinkle. Final period of play with John Forcade and quarterback for Ole Miss. It's first and 10, 40-yard line. Buford McGee, who was a quarterback in high school, launches one way downfield. Buck Connell, he's got it at the 20. Beautiful play. Ole Miss coming to the short side. McGee, 10-yard line. Five, and finally run out of bounds. Randy Scott there to make the stop for Alabama. Forcade, Andre Thomas, the up back. Buford McGee, the setback. McGee has it. Touchdown, Ole Miss Rebels. Brad White, the captain there. Number 94, Joe Campanova, the kicker. Gets it away, kind of low. It's Darryl White. On the reception, that's by far the best return against Ole Miss this year. 41-yard return up until that time, the longest against Ole Miss had been 26 yards. Alabama operating from the wishbone, first and 10, 49-yard line. This is Don Jacobs, the quarterback, getting down to about the 30. He's operating in Ole Miss territory. This is Jackson on the carry inside the 15-yard line. This is Jackson, pitch out, Ogilvy touchdown. He just talked about the degree of loyalty. You're loyal to your kids who you're coaching for at that time, and you know, when, when you're not playing them, sure, you're, you're gonna wanna see them do well, but. 4K draw play, faked everybody off, 35, 40, 41, 42, and down at the 43. And Buford really had nowhere to go, and Alabama's pursuit caught him. 4K handoff for the first back through, that's Andre Thomas across midfield, across the 45, down to the 40. Ole Miss beginning to move the football a little bit on Alabama. It's first and 10, 42-yard line. 4K sets it over the center, Steve Herring, number 71. Forque decides to pitch behind Chester Thornton. Thornton fumbles the football, and Alabama has recovered. Pitch goes way out to number 25, Lenny Patrick. Patrick is awfully quick, George, but he doesn't seem to be all that fast. Coach Carmody, our defensive coordinator, who's coaching down at Southern Miss right now, just emphasized all week how vital it was for us to stop Johnny Davis in the fullback. This is Hooper open to the 28. 